Welcome back to Glaze Chunk! If you're a Minecraft fan, you probably know about the yearly mob votes. They're a staple of Minecraft Live, but they also come with a fair share of controversy. Today we're diving deep into the Minecraft mob vote problem and how the community and creators are reacting to it. Stick around to hear what Mojang and the Minecraft community have to say. First, let's clarify what the mob vote is. Every year during the Minecraft Live event, Mojang presents three possible new mobs. Players vote for their favorite and the winning mob is added to the game. This sounds great in theory, but there's a catch. The mobs that don't win are never added to the game. This has led to a lot of frustration among players who feel that the voting system is flawed. The concept of mob vote isn't new. The first official mob vote took place back in 2017 featuring four mobs, the Barnacle, the Phantom, the Great Hunger, and the Wildfire. The Phantom won, of course, but it quickly became one of the most disliked mobs in the game. Since then, there have been a total of five mob votes, each bringing in its own set of controversies and discussions. In 2018 and 2019, Mojang replaced the mod votes with biome votes. These votes decided which biome would receive an update, including new features and a new mob. The taiga biome won the first vote, and it brought foxes and sweet berries and campfires along with it. The mountains biome won the second vote, adding goats and improved terrain generation. While these votes were less controversial, they still face criticism for excluding the losing options. The Minecraft community's main complaints about mob votes can be divided into two categories. Why not all three? And my mob didn't win! Many players feel that all three mobs should be added to the game to enhance content and avoid disappointment. Others are upset when their favorite mob doesn't win, especially in close votes where the winning mob barely gets more than 40% of the vote. In a recent interview from June 2024, the official Minecraft team finally addressed the mob vote drama. They acknowledge that while the community enjoys contributing to the game, the current format has its flaws. Mojang explained that adding multiple mobs is complex and time-consuming, requiring significant resources to ensure each mob fits well within the game's ecosystem, and maintains the quality standards across all platforms. The influence of popular Minecraft YouTubers and streamers on mob votes cannot be overlooked. A notable example is the 2020 vote where Dream, a massively followed Minecraft creator, urged his fanbase to vote for the Glow Squid. This led to a landslide victory for the Glow Squid, despite it being less popular among the general community. The event even sparked debates about the fairness of the voting process and the influence of high-profile creators. Let's dive deeper into some past votes. The first vote in 2017 introduced four mobs, with the Phantom ultimately winning. The Phantom was initially intriguing but quickly became disliked due to its annoying behavior and lack of useful drops. The 2020 mob vote included the Moo Bloom, the Ice Soldier, and the Glow Squid. Despite its popularity among creators, the Glow Squid won leading to significant backlash from the community. Players felt the Glow Squid didn't bring much value to the game compared to the other options. The 2021 vote featured the Glare, the Copper Golem, and the LA. The LA won, but many players felt that none of the mobs were particularly exciting. This vote highlighted the community's growing frustration with the limited and often uninspiring choices. The most recent mob vote featured three real-life animals. Armadillos, crabs, and penguins. The armadillo won, but not without controversy. Players criticized the underwhelming scoot mechanic and the wolf armor, which was deemed less useful than anticipated. Despite these issues, Mojang made adjustments based on community feedback, improving the wolf's armor functionality. A reoccurring theme in the community's feedback is the question, why not all three? Players argued that adding all three mobs would enrich the game and address the frustration of seeing promising mobs get discarded. 
However, Mojang has explained that each mob edition requires careful planning and resources to ensure it fits well into the game and meets their quality standards. The Minecraft mob vote controversy is a complex issue with no easy solution. While the vote provides a way for the community to contribute to the game, the current format it has has a lot of drawbacks. Mojang's recent response shows their commitment to addressing these issues, but it's clear that finding a balance will be key to keeping the community happy. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the mob vote problem, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay updated with all things Minecraft on Glaze Chunk. What are your thoughts on the mob vote controversy? Let us know in the comment section down below. Until next time, keep crafting and exploring. Bye-bye.